Hey guys, Daniel here. So in this video, we will learn how we can install Composer on our Mac computer. So let's open terminal. And in terminal, make sure that you are inside the root directory. So now we will have to download Composer using curl. So let's type the curl command. Curl and hyphen small s and then capital S and now we will specify the URL from which we want to download composer forward slash forward slash get composer.org and forward slash installer and now we will add the pipe symbol and then php and press enter it will take some time to download composer now you can see it is saying all settings correct for using composer so it is downloading now you can see it is saying successfully installed composer inside the current directory so now let's list the contents and see now you can see the composer.far is now available inside the current directory but now we want to do one more thing we want to make this composer.far global so that we can use it from everywhere um, if we don't make it global we will only be able to use it from this directory so let's do make it global to do that we will have to move this composer.far file inside the user local and bin directory so let me show you that directory cd forward slash user with usr not user so local and forward slash bin and it is saying no file no such file or directory okay some of you may not have this bin directory inside this user local directory so we can always create one so let's create our directory so first of all we will have to go inside user local folder user local and now let's create a directory and now we will have to use sudo sudo mkdir and after that the name of directory that is bin so now let's type our password and now if we list and now we can see the bin directory has been created inside this local directory so now we can move our composer.far inside this directory so let's go back to the root so cd and let's clear the screen and now let's move composer.far inside that user local bin directory so let's use sudo here sudo and we will use mv for the move command mv and what we want to move we want to move composer.far and where we want to move it we want to move it to forward slash user local and bin and now the command has been executed so now let's go to user local bin and let's see if the composer.far is there or not user local and bin now if i list now you can see composer.far is now present inside this user local bin directory so now what we can do is we can make sure that the composer has installed or not so for that we will execute a command called composer.far and let's see what we get and now you can see all the commands of composer so that means that composer has been uh, installed in the, this directory but we want to check if the composer is global or not for that we will have to go out of this directory so cd double dot and then the forward slash 
and now oh, we are out of that bin directory so now use that composer dot for command again and now you can see the same commands popped up that means that now composer is global so we can use it from wherever you we want so that's it for this video and i hope you liked this video and if you did be sure to hit that like button and i will see you in the next video